Hello. How are we doing all? Are we all right? Good. News if you are feeling all right. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna say then. Um, and I'm sorry if you're not feeling good. So, um, I've got a couple of things I'm gonna be doing. Um, so this again is another one of my little random put together videos, blah, 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 blah. Um, but just quickly, I just wanted to show you my um, shirt of the day. Um, you know when people do the mug of the day, their, their outfit of the day. I really like this shirt. Now, I've never worn it. And I bought it, and I showed you once before when I bought it from a little... Um, where's the camera on this thing? Over there. That's right. I'm just checking where, where I'm supposed to be looking. Um, yeah, and I bought it in that little boutique in Rochester. And um, I thought, yeah, and I've literally just took the label off. And the label, hang on a minute, for people who want to know, the make, Goose Island, I think that says. Uh, and it was $34.99. It's just such a lovely shirt. I absolutely love it. Pocket, little pocket, you know I like a pocket. Um, your roll back sleeves with your little turn up buttons there. Uh, yeah, really, really nice. It's like, like, like a bit like patch patchwork, if you like. So you've got different seams here, so different colour down there. Um, splashes of the dye, the navy, which I like. So, yeah, just thought I'd, you know, share that with you. Um, $34.99 from Little Boutique in Rochester, but Google that make and you might be able to um, find it online. And I've literally paired it with my jeans, cut down jeans, um, and little pumps on, and away we go. Now, I'm actually after a couple of things. Oh, look, I've got my breath now. Um... I'm actually after a couple of things, and I've got a jumpsuit which I bought from TK Maxx, seven ninety nine. You have seen it because I remember showing it to you. And um, I want to put take the buttons off of it, put new buttons on, and change something to the top part of it because the top part's got buttons like right here. But when I put it tight, it's not going across my bust. Not that I've got a big bust; it's just not going across my bust. But it fits everywhere else perfectly so i'm going to do a kind of a little bit of a revamp on that plus the fact it was meant to have a belt i've got that dog out there um meant to have a belt because it's got the little bits here and it has it didn't come with a belt it's probably why it was 7.99 it's cheap so i want to go and find something like um not not a leather belt with a buckle on it because it's not the kind of look it is more like a sash if that makes sense or a cord, or like like rope, not like old rope, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean, as a belt. So I thought we'll go down to Rochester, um, Lou's going to drive me down there, and um, so I'm a bit weary about driving at the moment, so she's going to drive me down there, and um, just go slow, take it easy. We'll have a look at the little boutiques. We'll look in the little thrift shops. See if I can get any buttons in the in the little charity shops, and the sash. So we'll have a mooch down there. I'll try and take some vid while I'm down there, and then um, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right. So see you then. Well, I am back. I've been out for a couple of hours now, but um, it, it was actually quite nice because it's a. Um, a nice day, um, you know, the sun's out. In fact, it's quite warm, I'm, I'm pretty warm. Anyway, so I'm back and I'm gonna show you what I got. And it's behind, oh, kicked it. It's behind here. And um, Sean's, I'm looking out the window because Sean's not in at the moment. So I wanna do this before he comes in because he's gonna say, what the hell have you pulled now? Anyway, so I've got to the first, and he went in the first shop, my favourite little shop. Oh my God, what is it called? Kiss, Kiss, Kiss Heart, I think it's called. Anyway, and in the window, they've got, I took some photos, so I'll, I'll add them on here as well. But they've got some such, honestly, they've got lovely stuff in there. So if you ever go to Rochester High Street, go um, into these little boutiques. Well, in fact, all of them down there are really nice. But look out for the one called Kiss, Kiss Heart. They've got two of them, one on one side of the road, one on the other side of the road. Anyway, in the window was this gorgeous hanging lantern. I absolutely love it. Um, it's got the glass in the middle to put your candle in. Um, and it's made of wicker. 
but it, it actually looks more rusticy, like um, weathered look, if you know what I mean. I, just, I really, really like it. Um, and I don't know whether to have it indoors. Trouble it, uh, see, I'd like to hang it on the ceiling, but I know for a fact that Sean will not put nothing on the ceiling for me to hook it on, um, which is a shame because I just think where I want to put my, which is behind this wall here, where that space is, I, I want to do something like, something there on that wall. Um, and that hanging down there with that other mirror I bought the rope on it, I just think will look so nice, but I don't think it's gonna let me hang it unless I stand it like this. But I just think it look nice hanging from the ceiling. Anyway, the only other, the, the, the con side of that, see pros and cons, the con side of that would be, I wouldn't be able to put the candle in there. I'd have to get step ladders to get up and down. Um, so yeah, that's the downside of it. But hey ho, I just had to buy it. And that was 30 pounds. And I actually think that was quite a good buy, to be honest. You maybe are gonna say otherwise, but I really do think that was a good buy. I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can see. Such a nice rustic. Also as well, I can have it up the back. Um, under the gazebo up there, the open part of the summer house. It can hang from there as well, like from the rafters, if you like. That would also look nice, because that's not that high and I can reach that by standing on a chair. But yeah, let me know what you think about that. But that I just thought was nice. So that was my first thing. And then I had to buy this. <laughs> so then I went in another little thrift shop and um, I've been looking for old wooden furniture, so like cabin. I'm looking, actually looking for a sideboard to go actually in the hallway here, right? Um, so I've been on the lookout for something what I can potentially upcycle myself. Anyway, in the meantime as well, I spotted this little pine, I can't lift it, but I'll pull the camera down in a second. Pine, um, little unit, I can go like that, but that's as far as I can get. Um, little side table, little pine ones. You remember we used to have years ago? Um, and it was a fiver, so I had to buy it. So it's, what I'm planning on doing with this is I'm gonna do it the same color as the cabinet, what's in my dining room. Um, and I'm gonna put this in the corner with, and in there I'm gonna put my dinner set in there. Um, at the moment it's in the kitchen. I, I, we don't use it, we only use it, on, use it uh, on special occasions. It can't go in the microwave because it's got gold around the rims. So we only get it at like a Christmas or dinner parties, which I never have dinner parties, I don't know why I said that. Um, um, Christmas, Christmas time, you know, or, as I say, special occasions. So I want to put that in here so then that clears that cupboard out there so I can get sort my crockery out, which would be another um, clear out time. Yeah, we'll do that as well. We'll do clear out Nicky's cupboards. That'd be a laugh. Um, so yeah, so this is gonna go in there, upcycle this to the same color as the cabinet, so I've got the two matching. Now, the only thing is, it's got a glass door. Now, I actually would like to paint that, or I'm thinking of putting a stencil over the top because I don't want it, just don't want it plain glass. So I'm thinking of maybe putting a stencil over the top, like frosted um, stencil. So I have bought some stencils. Now, where did I put them? And I'll show you them in a minute. Hang on, let me think. Where did I put them? Wait a minute. Um, oh, pants. I can't remember. They're in the dining room. I'll, sh I'll show you them. Anyway. Let me tip the camera down. Oh no, before I show you this, because the camera's all set up nice for me in that little corner, I'll just show you what else I've got. One minute. So also my little thrift, my little thrift buy. I've got these. Bring that forward. One minute. Right. I've got these. Now these are little candle holders. Um, they've got the little bit on the top there, which someone's obviously had a candle in it. I can't get it out, but I'm pretty sure um, I can get that out. I don't know what, do you know what? I don't know if they're wood. No, they're not. Okay. No, they're not wood. But they've got that nice textured look. And I, again, I just thought they were really nice. They're going within the theme I'm, I'm going with. Oh, my God. I keep wanting this 
flipping cabinet. So they're going, they're the look I want. The only thing is they're a bit grubby. So I'm gonna give them a real good scrub up. I might even put them in the dishwasher um, and give them a real good scrub up. And then possibly if, they, if I still can't get, cause it looks like there's loads of, I'll show you in a minute. It looks like there's loads of like stains. Hang on, see, in here. Or is that the part of the, you know, the, um, the color, but I don't think it is. So I'm gonna try and get that off. And if I can't get it off, by putting it in the dishwasher and on scrubbing it with the toothbrush, then um, I, you know, after I've cleaned it and everything else, I'll go over it with a bit of chalk paint um, in like the cream color I've got uh, to cover that up. Um, and the same, so I've got two of them. And they was a pound each. In fact, someone's left their old candle in it. Look, look at that. Oh God, that looks all grubby, doesn't it? And that can come straight out. So anyway, so there's my two little bits there. They've got rubber bits on the bottom, but I'm actually gonna take those off because they're well oversized. They're far too big for this bottom bit. So they're, they're gonna come off anyway. So that's them two little bits. Now, wait a minute, because I've got another bag somewhere. Wait a minute. In the other room, right? So hold on a sec. I'll be back. Hang on. Right, I'm coming. Here I am. And then the other couple of bits I bought, which I'm going to laugh at one of them. Uh, I'm not going to think, what on earth have you bought that for? Shut that down there a minute. So I went in another, I went in this other shop was like Doctor Who's TARDIS. You went in and it just went on forever. You went through the shop, you went out of, a, out of a, there was another area at the back. Then you went down some stairs, there was a basement. Then you came back up the other side of the shop, up some more stairs, up to another level up there. And I could have been in there an hour at least, looking at all the bits and pieces. Some of it was pricey because they were genuine antiques, and some of it just was like bric a brac stuff. So I could have spent more money on loads of bits in there, but I held myself back. I said, no, just get these because I happen to like them, obviously. So this was two pounds. I don't know the make because I've I've no idea. I think it's I'll show you in a second for a minute. Fate main made by hand. I don't know where it's from, but I'll, sh I'll bring it up. It's terracotta, but I liked the shape. It's probably you know like I don't know if it's Spanish or maybe Greek. And if anyone knows what these little rings, I've seen these on other pieces um, of pottery or terracotta, but I don't know what that's for. Is it for holding on your finger like this? I don't know. Anyway, let me know. Because I remember having something where you put your two fingers through and obviously I can't get my finger through there. I think you showed you think, or did you do something like that? Pouring. Anyway, I just really liked it. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep these colours because I want this in, in my house. In my house? <laughs> Saying as if I'm going to have it in someone else's house. Um, yeah, it's going, to, it's going to be staying in here, not up the back. So I'm not sure about these striped colours here. I love this bit. What's that on it? Oh, it's like a little... Oh, no, I, might, I might be able to get that off, a little bit of paint. Might be able to get that off. And it's got tiny little bits there, but I'm not worried about that. Um, I might be able to mix, get that colour and just touch them little bits up. So, let me know what you think of that. I just think it was really cute. Here's Sean now. Let's see what he says about this colour. Hang on, he's coming in. Oh, shit. I'm going to say that. I've been done. I've been done. So, um, but he will, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, so anyway, this, just love it. It's quite heavy, terracotta, it's got a nice texture. Again, not sure whether I'm gonna have this. If I'm not, then I'm gonna tape that bit over 
Now I'm not, I'm taking the bottom bit over and I'm gonna take this bit over because I like the texture and color on this bit and just maybe paint a little bit of paint over this bit here. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with it and see. Um, I think I think actually this deco will go, these colors will go with my theme, what I'm going with, so I do think it will work. But anyway, so that's my three little pieces and my last little thing, which is all wrapped up in here, it's not even fragile. Oh my God, it's not even in there, oh yes it is. <laughs> And you're gonna go, da, 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 da. what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? And it's that. <laughs> and we all know what this is, don't we? Yeah, see, oh, this is for me beard. Um, no, it's 95p, in the same little shop. And do you know what I got it for? Painting. Um, they're proper bristles, they're uh, horse hair maybe, horse's tail, or mane or whatever it is. And I've got this, purely because it's 95p, and you can get in the little nooks and crannies, and it's a nice little handle what I can hold. You go like that. Um, look at me, I'm going. Oh, you don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> you silly bugger. Um, you know, and you do a bit of this business. Um, yeah, so anyway, sure. No. Can you come in a minute? What for? I, I bought something. And I know you're gonna like it. What? I bought I bought you a nice cabinet. Come over here. Why? No, stop doing it. He'd <laughs> say that, stop doing it. Um yes, so that's my little now I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see it, isn't it? Let's come over, let's bring you down a touch. And there you go. So in the middle here, where my hand is. Across, no, where am I, here, here? No, I can't find the angle. Anyway, right. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing now. In the middle there is a shelf, but it's laying on the bottom, on the bottom. Um, so the shelf is obviously gonna go back up there. But yeah, can you see the glass? I don't know whether I can either paint it all completely, because I don't wanna be seeing inside it, or do, can you paint glass? What? Can you paint glass? You must be able to. Yeah. Oh yeah, you said I can. So paint that then, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint it. Um, because I don't... Because people have glass splashbacks in different colors. <laughs> all right, know it all, know nothing. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do with that. So there you go, so that's my little thrifty bits. So what I'm gonna do is put all this stuff away um, and I'm gonna, I need to finish off the other one, but I'm, but we'll be sanding this um, and I'll show you, all right? So I'll see you in a minute. So these little photos here, I just thought I'd let you know. So this is the little shop, which is called the Kiss Kiss Heart. There's two of them. Um, they're kind of opposite each other, but just the pictures are just showing you are um, the items, what they sell in there. So you can kind of see, and you can see on the right-hand side, it says Kiss Kiss Heart. And the one there on the left with the chairs outside is also Kiss Kiss Heart. Um, yeah, L L Rochester High Street's nice, and, uh, and there's another little view of the uh, window of the shop on the left, and that's a view of the one on the right. And this mirror, I absolutely loved it. So much so, I wouldn't go and buy it. Right, we're on another day. Um, <laughs> I was going to do the sanding of, of the little unit, but, um, hang on, let me shut this door. Um, and, um... Yeah, I, I just, I think me going out for those couple of hours, um, oh, sorry guys, just wanted to check the camera is. <laughs> well, I know I've got the camera in front of me, but it's the iPad and I can't work out which way I meant to look. I've said that before, and I? Um, yeah, um, so after I did that little bit of filming and I'd been out, I, I was done. I couldn't physically do anything else. I had to go and really have a kind of a, a bit of a lay down, a bit of a rest. So anyway, so now we're on another day. So I will cut, we will do the sanding, um, but in the meantime, I've had a couple of deliveries and I thought I'd just share those deliveries with you. And I wanted to do a little, um, I'm doing a heart wreath for a lady who just wants all red roses. So I thought we'll do that. 
So I've ordered the red roses and they've come and I'm going to leave all the information um, in the description box below, if I remember. I've, but I've wrote myself a note to, to remind myself to do it. Now I'm going to get my phone, one minute, because I've got the prices on there. And, um, and I can tell you as we go along, because most of them are from Amazon. One minute. Orders. Uh, 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 yep, yeah. okay, so why hasn't that got price on it? Some of these things haven't got prices on them until you go, oh, yeah, there you go, okay, until you go right in it. So, leave my phone there a sec, right? So, um, the stencils I bought the stencils and I wanted to show you. So, here they are now. They come in, I think there's 16 in a pack. Wait a minute, actually, it's got my phone here so I can see. They come, hang on. Is it 16 in a pack? Yeah, 16 in a pack. They're the Mandela uh, Stencil Art Set. And you've got all different styles. Really pretty. Just I have to, won't go through the whole lot, but look, you can see. Very nice. Um, the one I actually quite like is... I like that one because I like the, the detail around here uh, uh, for an edging. Um, you've got so many. That, I quite like that as well, actually. That's nice. Not keen on that one. That looks like a bit like a doily. Um, we'll spin them over this. Whoa! Dropped one. I'm just showing them quickly for you so you can see. But they're all plastic. Got caught up. All plastic. And that is what. And that's the last two. So. Um, that's what I'm going to start using on the on the little cabinet. And I'm also thinking, see, I've had a change of thought. Where I was going to do that and put that in the dining room um, and colour match it with a cabinet. And then I was going to put like maybe a stencil on the front of the door or whatever. In the night, I started thinking about the bedroom. So I thought, actually, I might actually paint it navy with the white stenciling on the on the door and possibly down the side to, to break up the navy um, and put it in my bedroom. I've got next to my, where my bed is and then the carpet there, then the window and then I've got a wall here. It's not very wide, probably that wide. Then the wardrobe. Well, on that wall there, there's nothing there. So it's a bit bare and I'm thinking, I wonder whether I've got that unit there with a nice little sun on the top, I don't know, candle or something like that and put that there, um, and then put my um, makeup and bits and pieces like that. Because at the moment, all my makeup's in a makeup bag, stuffed in, in the bathroom, in my bathroom, down on the side. Um, and I'm not keen on loads of things on show, so I might do that and put that there, and then go out and look for another unit to go in the dining room to replace that. That's, that's now what I'm thinking, anyway. So there's the stencils. Uh, um, they were, did I, didn't even say how much they was, did I? Six ninety nine. There you go, Six ninety nine with free shipping, that was Amazon. Now, the next thing I got was um, these little uh, baby's breath. Now, these come from the company, minute, I'll get the price up. These come from the company called N&T Netting. I'm not, I'm not sure whether that's how you pronounce it. N-I-E-T-I-N-G, artificial. Um, these were $12.99. They're okay. To be honest with you, I don't think they're worth $12.99, actually. I thought they were going to look much nicer. Because when you look at the picture there, they look nothing like that whatsoever. So I'll show you. So they come in a really cute little box. They're packaged up really nice. They come in a little box. With their little sticker on the side there. They're obviously made in China, but it does say that on the side anyway. Um, and they come in, and then you've got a little gift card in there. Um, and this is what they look like. Hang on. So what they've probably done in that picture is bunched them all up together. You only get ten. And they're all folded up. So they've probably bunched them all up together, like that. 
and, and, and just spread them out to make it look like that. So I suppose once you've jazzed it up, it, it will look like that. Um, 12 99 I don't think it's worth it, guys, to be honest with you. Um, I'm probably going to send them back. If they was, you know, like five bunches of that big for 12 99 See, look, flowers are coming off. I, I probably would keep them, but for 12 99 for that, I don't think that's worth it. So they're gonna go back, um, but I will, leave the, I will leave the information below for you, just in case anyone, you know, fancy them. Um, or if you actually wanna buy them off of me for 12 99 what I've paid for them, I'll show you the price, they're exactly 12 99 You can see there. Um, I'm happy to post them to you. Um, so let me know before I um, send them back. So I won't send these back, obviously, till after. I've run the, uploaded the video and I'll leave it a day or something like that. And then I'll, I'll return them if anybody wants them. But this is the little box they come in. So do let me know. I'm quite happy to, to post them to you if you want them. If I, I'll give it a day. If I don't hear from anybody... Um, try and message me on Messenger or Facebook rather than leave me a comment because sometimes I, I, I'm missing people's comments. I don't mean to, but, you know. So, yeah, do it that way. So that's them. Now, the other flowers come from the same company, so I want to do the red roses for this lady because she wants the whole thing. And this is the same company. Come in a lovely cute box with a little stamp on the side. Now, I haven't opened these, but I know what they are because I've had them before. And these are red roses, you get, they're 12.99 and I think there's 25 in a box. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. And actually, I reckon I'm gonna need more than that because she wants the whole, I'll show you the reef in a minute, what I'm gonna use, she wants the whole thing done. That's not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna have to get another box. Um, but they come, I don't know why they put these little extra foliage leaves on there, but that comes like that. There you go. Your little gift card in there as well. And they all come on the stem so you can manipulate them. They are the foam roses, they're not silk. I have used these a lot, I've used this company before and they are, out of all the foam roses what I've had, they are quite good quality. The other company I use, if you're looking for foam roses, is called The Chair Company and their, their roses are excellent. Their foam roses, but I'll bring it up closer for you. There you go. So you've got your wire stem, so you can manipulate it and bend it around. They do come out easy, she says. But if you want to pull that, I'm not going to do it, but if you want to pull that out, it does come out. Um, and that's what they look like. So they're not bad. So if you measure them up to my hand, that's how big they are. I don't know, what's that? Eight, five centimetres, maybe? Anyway, there you go. So that's what I'm going to be using for this uh, floral um, heart wreath, which I'll show you in a row. So $12.99. Now, the other thing I've got, and I haven't even opened these, but I'm not even sure they're going to be nice. This is from a company, these are flowers again. So one of my ladies has asked for rainbow roses to go on um, a lantern for a wedding. Um, and, you know, and, the, and the reason she's having a rainbow is because her... I think it was um, someone who passed away in a family, maybe a mum, a mother-in-law, whoever, and they liked the rainbow roses and they wanted a little touch of the rainbow roses um, in and amongst the swag on the lantern just to remember them by. So I thought that was quite a nice little touch. This is by a company called Five Seasons Stuff. Artificial flowers made with care to brighten your life. There's the box it comes in. There's the roses. I haven't opened them, as I, see, as I say, and I'll tell you the price in a minute. They weren't cheap. So let's see what they look like. Oh, these will be going back as well. Hang on. So there's the box they come in. So again, you've got like a little, a little gift card. Do you know what I thought? I'm going to... Thinking, is there a smell in it? No, it's not. So, yeah, I don't know. It's got a little thing on the back here. Artificial flowers were first crafted in China over a thousand years ago. What? 
Well, anyway, so you get a little label there. So it's obviously about China. Um, um, you've got a little little thing there about the company, I suppose. And then you've got some greenery in there as well. Oh no, the greenery is actually on the rose. So let's just get out one of these roses and then I'll tell you how much they are, right? And you leave me a comment. So there's your rose. I'm coming up close to the camera, wrapped up. It's a tiny little head, it's not even that big. And, and they're supposed to be a real feel touch. Well, they are kind of here, but not the rest of it. So that's what you've got. Right, so on a nice big long stem, you've got your flower and your foliage on there. And I think there's one, ten, ten of these. That's all there is there. And the price, but I'm going to double check this in case I've got it wrong. But... Yeah, I'll, um, <laughs> wait a minute, I'm, um, I'm like, again, I'll be going, no, thank you, not buying them again. I'm going to go, where are they? Wait a minute. Where are they? Where's my orders? Orders. Right, wait a minute. Right, there they are. Yeah, it definitely says real touch. So that's the picture, what they're supposed to look like. And I suppose they do look like that. I don't know what I was expecting, but I think I was expecting them to be a lot bigger than this one. Um, you can't see the price on there, but if I scroll up, you'll see the different prices underneath, starting from 25 quid. So there's the ones I picked there, 25.98, then they go up to 35 pound. Then uh, another price there. That's what they were then. So I'm going to email my, or ring up my little bride, um, and my little bride. I sound it like that before. I didn't mean it like that. Um, I'm going to ring up my um, my bride and tell her that, that absolutely I would in no way put these on her lantern. They're really not worth it. So I'm going to source some different ones. Anyone has seen any good quality rainbow roses, artificial, do let me know. Um, so they will definitely be going back. And I'm not even going to ask you like, if you want me to send it to you because I know you wouldn't pay 25 quid for them. So they are going back. God, I'm really disappointed with that. Really disappointed. Um, right, so the next thing I bought is... I bought some backdrop netting, or backdrop curtains, or whatever you want to call them. So this one is called Shiny Beauty, and we're going to get it out of the packet in a second. Um, and this is called Chiffon Curtain, two panels. Right, and let's see what the price was with that. Um, delivered yesterday, yes. Two panels of white chiffon curtains. They are 10 foot of fabric. And they were £18.56. I'll show you. And they do do different colours. They do do different colours, as you can see. Um, and there's your prices there. And that's what I've paid. There. So, let's get these out and have a look. I'm going to stop in a second, guys, because I need a little bit of a breather um, and maybe some drink. But let's have a look at this first. So you get it in your packet um, with some writing on the back. Anyway, there's your packet coming. A letter for you. There's an email address on there if you've got any problems. Um, and that's what you get there with an email address and a little bit of information on the back. So let's see. It feels quite nice quality actually. Oh, ah, oh, okay. Do you know what? I was thinking they were 10 foot wide. But, but that doesn't matter because I'm using them for gathering to go across. 
like this, like a, like, like a, like a sash, not to be drawn, so that's fine. Um, and they're nice and long. And that material actually is quite a nice quality. It's quite really got a nice feel to it. It's made really well. Um, it's got the uh, nice big uh, gap to put your pole into there, which is good. Um, and for what I want to do, once I've pressed it, when I've rigged it all up, you'll see, because I'm going to do it for this week, it will come across like this kind of thing, if that makes sense. So, mm, not bad at all. Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> right, now, I've got one more parcel to open. And I've got a feeling this is the other part of the um, material to go in the backdrop. This is quite heavy, so we'll do that in a minute. So I literally want to quickly have a breather and have a drink, and um, we'll be back and we'll just open that, and then hopefully we can get started on that, um, the little um, heart wreath. So hang on a sec. Right, change of plan. Change of plan with the, um, the heart ring. Um, I just realised when I've got the heart out, the reframe what it is. Um, sorry, I thought someone come in. Um, it's the wicker heart, and it's not quite big enough. I need it to be at least 17 inches. This one's not. I think this one's 10 inches, so I need it to be a bit bigger. And then when I'm adding onto the wicker heart, this lady wants the whole thing covered. Well. There's no point having a wicker heart, do you know what I mean? Because you just keep it covering it all up. So change of plan, I'm gonna to have to order a dry foam um, open heart frame um, and do it that way um, because, it, yeah, there's, just, there's no point to putting on a wicker heart. Um, and I, I messaged her and said to her, you know, you don't wanna, uh, wicker heart is so you can see the wicker heart. Um, even if you have half of it with, um, uh, florals on it and the other half plain, you know. Anyway, let I've just got to show you this. So off camera, I've just opened up this package and take the flip flops for a minute. And this is what's come, which is what I also wanted. The swags for the backdrop as well. Now this is really nice actually. It's nice quality. I can't remember how much it was. But anyway, I find if anyone's interested, ask me. Um, if you were considering getting this for yourselves for whatever reason um, and I'll let you know but it's satin it's obviously not real silk but it's that satin material it's got little tie backs on the back here at the back like that so you can tie it around the pole the pole fed threadles through this bit as well here and then you can tie it as well um, now my only thing is it's crease to buggery now, please tell me, how am I going to iron this to get this to be nice and... <laughs> or do I get a steamer and hand steam it? Will, <clears throat> will that take the creases out? Can you please let me know, someone? Because um, I don't want to be getting... I, my, although my iron is a steamer, I suppose I could just get the iron and put it on the steam and go like that, I suppose. Do I? To get the creases out? Otherwise, it's, yeah, and it's, it's huge, it's absolutely huge. It, I mean, when I'm huge, really, really tall, it's probably got to be 10 foot. Um, and the width as well, so look how wide it is, hang on. It's more than six foot, it, I think it's 10 by 10, actually. Um, but yeah, and I've got two of them, so, can you, yeah, can you please let me know how I'm going to, how, how I do this bit? Um, and then what I'll do, we'll do a video of me rigging it up. That'd be interesting because I've never done this before. But we'll have a go. <laughs> and see how we get on with that. Right, let's fold that up. Like, this is so heavy. So, it's really heavy material. But, yeah, I'll, um... If you need to know the price, you know, and you can make yourself your own wedding dress with this, you know, or a toga. Um, if you're going somewhere, you know, if you're going to a toga party, <laughs> plenty of material there. <laughs> now, the only thing is, I'll let me just show you something. The only thing is, as well, so this is the white, this is white, white, and the voile, the other stuff I've got, is ivory. 
doesn't look too bad on camera, but I can I notice it. So when I'm holding this up, I don't think that is going to go and hang it around there. Plus the fact, because this has got swags on it, I'm not going to need this to go around it as well. It, it just looks too much. So there's no point. So I'll keep that for a separate thing. But for this occasion, this party I'm doing for um, a client, um, we're gonna we're gonna use this one. Anyway, yeah, let me know if I'm doing if I'm gonna do this. But I've got two of those. Um, I've got the other one out. Um, I've got two of these. So yeah, there we are. There we are with that. Um, okay, I might have to have another breather for a second. And I'll be back. All right, now before we head off, I'm just gonna quickly show you a couple of my little things I've just done for some weddings. Um, that's the wig of heart I was talking about. And if you cover that all up with roses, it's just going to, yeah, you're just going to, you know, ruin the whole look of, of the um, the heart. But anyway, so that's the big wick of heart, which I've got. I can hear you in there. Yeah. Um, and then, you've all seen the garden there, haven't you? Show you that. Come round. Sean's just put the step ladders up because he's going to get up there and cut all the cable ties off of there for me. So that's where we are with that. That's where the backdrop, where the curtains go in. And if we just come into my dining room, I bought my little unit in there. Um, and then I was just doing colours and seeing um, what this looks like. The cabinet, so I'm nearly finished with that. And um, this is the other garland, which is going on a table at a wedding. Take a notice of the... Um, where's my hand? Oh, here it is. Taking notes of the foam there because I was trying something out, and the burlap. I might put some burlap through it as well. Um, yeah. And then over in the corner, I bought off of one of my lovely subscribers, Sharon. That absolutely love that. So that's going with my wedding collection, and the other lantern over there to match this. So that's where we are with all that business. Looking good. Oh, one more thing. This one. Just done this for a lady. Um, it's extremely tall. Uh, well, as you can see where the door handle is, you can see that the length of it, it probably... Hang on. I'm going to stand next to it. One minute. Hold on. No, I can't stand next to it because I'm holding the camera. <laughs> this lady wanted something really tall, floor standing, quite high, to go in the corner of her room to cover up some... Um, on the floor, she has some plug sockets and that. So we kind of made that cascading down. And because these, these are two vases put together, because I couldn't find a really nice tall one, um, the vases are from the range. And obviously I've just put my own little bit of detail around there. But what I did do was put it in a wood round on the bottom to make it more stable and drape some florals around there. And then obviously a bit of wisteria coming up. Uh, the lady wanted some navy, but she only wanted it as an accent, so just a tiny bit. She also wanted some orchids with a touch of fuchsia in it or pink there and then the rest is quite naturally looking with some roses um but that has come out lovely and some grass is coming out as well just to give it that little bit of extra texture there so that's her floral arrangement there guys um as you can tell I'm a bit out of breath but anyway yeah I'm really pleased with that and um I've sent her the picture and she absolutely loves it the only issue is she's worrying how she's going to get it home. <laughs> yeah, so that, so that lady there, I can't remember what she's doing, that lady, you know, who's having this, that lady there, I mean, well, she's not in the room with me, is she? Honestly. So the lady who's having this arrangement, um, she's now worrying how she's going to get it home, so we're going to have to think about something, because although it's quite heavy, you've only got to knock that bottom and, and it will come off, and I've really, you know, put lots and lots and lots of strong um, Gorilla Glue to, to hold it all together, but you know, never know. So we've got to work out a little plan. I might have to, maybe me and Sean drive it around. I'll hold it and then we go and deliver it for the lady. Um, but anyway, there you go, guys. I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'm going to wait for those them hearts to come. There'll be a couple of days. And then I'll show you, um, it's such an easy crafting thing to do. These foam uh, bases with the foam roses, and put them in and you've made yourself a little decoration. And they're brilliant if you're doing um, things like, um, you know, a bit, a bit, you're having a party, doing an event, and you've got like three or four tables, you're having a garden party. These type of things with these foam roses, because they're re relatively cheap to buy and you get a nice box of them, you can make little table decorations out of them to put on each table. So we could do a couple of those as well and I'll show you. Um, 
because then all you need is your glue gun, a bit of foam. You don't even need a glue gun actually, but I do just to give it a bit more stability. Your glue gun, your roses, and frame. Happy days, and maybe a bit of ribbon if you want it. So anyway, take care, and we'll do that in our little sort of project, um, as as well as painting the cabinet, stripping the cabinet, doing the other cabinet. So so much going on. Anyway, we'll see what we can get up to. All right. So take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.